okay so we're going to create a document of 8 by 10 inches which i have right here okay so 8 by 10 okay all right so now what we're going to do here is very simple because we only have um four images okay we are just going to use only four images to make, create something unique here so the trick to these um birthday flyers is just simple okay so i hope you get along with this okay so you're going to start with this first background okay so i'll just drop this guy in here resize very quick okay and then from here i will just go to filter and then blur and then gaussian blur now with this i'm going to add the blur amount of 28 pixels okay this is all that we need to do with this guy then i'll just go in and bring this guy to then i'll just resize it okay so it is okay all right so with this i'm just going to add blur amounts of let's say four okay click ok all right so with this i'm going to change the blend mode to screen all right now with this scene right here uh we're going to add layer mask okay to the bottom layer or the first image that we imported so let's click layer mask to add a layer mask now what we need to do right here grab the brush okay then let's set the flow to around 50 increase the brush using the curly braces on the keyboard okay so the glue uh the open curly bracket that makes the brush smaller and the closing one makes it bigger okay and if you want to change a brush without going to the brush panel just right click you have these options or this panel pops up and you just, just go ahead so with the foreground black you see uh you see some rays okay so some light rays in here we are going to maintain some and then this brightness over here we're going to keep that but this area we're going we don't need that so let's ouch okay so there's nothing wrong here we just need to create um a solid background okay black solid background just like this then we go back and select the uh, mask thumbnail and then we just clean okay so that's all that we need so let's clean this area this area but i don't know if you can see it see this let me turn it off you see you see some white ray uh, trails over here yeah we need that so we are not going to clean all of that so you can just chip in here okay even though we are we will bring the um golden flower it will cover the area, but we actually need them okay let's keep it so don't just clean everything so you can see we left some area over here good now I, i'm not going to bring the star did I, why am i keep saying star i'm not going to bring the flower okay i'm just going to bring in i'm not going to bring this flower yet even though it's in the background so let's bring this lady right here now what we are seeing right here is because the layer is below this image so let's drag it to the top okay so now we have this okay so i'm going to resize it okay then i'm going to add a layer mask grab the brush with foreground black check your flow in the middle then let's wipe very quick very quick very quick all right okay so i'll go ahead and bring um the next image which is this beautiful lady right here that i'm crushing on i'm not crushing on okay so um all right but one thing about this is that you are not getting um the in the resources i'm just giving you the backgrounds and okay you're not getting this image because this actually someone's image we took in the studio okay so you are definitely not getting this but you just need to have um stock images high quality stock images you can get some from pinterest and then you just practice with it okay so 
and the next move is let's create a new layer and then grab the gradient to we can press g for like shortcut g okay so when you press g on the keyboard or you go grab the gradient just look at the top here click on this this pops up okay so you see this one it's um foreground to transparent or is it foreground to transparent let me look at it here okay so the middle one it says yeah foreground to transparent it means um whatever color is here it actually disappears here okay but you see it you see a small effect over here so always make here same color okay make both sides the same so i'm choosing black for here all right and then i'm choosing black for here too okay now I'll click okay and then i'll just scroll back somewhere here okay i'll just click and drag to the top now i have this okay i'll come back um, i might come back and tweak this but for now let's maintain this good okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this layer Control j on the keyboard okay so with this but you can see um it ends up here okay so i don't want it that way so i'll just Control t for the transform then i'll just bring it down a little here okay so we're good now let's add text so i'll grab the text to click and then type now from the character panel i'll just increase the size if you can't find a character panel just go to windows and then we have character right here when you click the pop up good so um what am i doing uh let's bring it here let's increase the size can just use um the transform all right so we're going to use a font named histora barrel what, what am i saying it's barreling okay yeah, yeah, yeah i know some people want to get me but they won't okay so it's histora barreling right here histora barreling now it has some ligatures okay it has some ligatures that i covered in a video so go kindly go to my channel and check how i explain the ligatures so the standard ligatures so you can see right here if you hover on this guy you see we have stylistic alternates and then we have standard ligatures okay so we're going to use this but i'm not going to explain much in here so i'm just going to click on this okay now the b comes okay i've explained everything in that video so kindly go and check that video so all that we need here is just stylistic b <laughs> okay very good uh so we are going to select select the text okay and come to fx right here blend and options good this pops up um what we are going to do right here is we're going to add stroke okay so click on the stroke and let's set the stroke size to five pixels okay outside choose outside here and then blend mode set it to normal opacity 91 okay then come here and click on bevel and emboss okay so with the depth right here remember to choose stroke emboss right here on the style and then chisel hard here the depth let's make it seven seven one okay and then let's choose up right here the size let's make it 16. let's keep the soft and zero then maintain everything right here but the gloss contour the gloss contour right here just click choose the second one all right that's all that we need hey, that's not all that we need right here sorry let's go and click gradient overlay all right so you can see the previous one that i did is already applied right here so we're choosing linear okay and opacity 99 okay click this now this is the color that i used and then this guy the location is 46 okay white it's white and this guy too is white so keep that now that's all that we need right here click okay all right so from here we are going straight to filter and then this time going to add noise okay so you go to noise add noise they will ask you this question just 
convert to smart objects okay then add amounts 11.55 pixels sorry did i say pixels percent okay so 12 percent or 11.55 you can round it good now we have some noise in there okay you can see noise all right okay so let's bring it down here like that okay all right so what we're going to do is a very quick simple thing let's grab the rectangle tool real quick you just need to finish this thing up right here okay so you got this now you don't need the fill so go to the properties and take the fill out after that let's go to fx and blending options okay so come here and then inner glow okay just click on inner glow and set the opacity 24 and then the size 49 choke zero noise zero click ok right so I have something copied so I'll just go to edit paste special and paste in place which is this text right here that I'm not going to waste any time on this guy so select this okay then control J to duplicate so control T and then let's resize increase the size a little like this this is okay all right so that's all that we need right here very quick and simple okay so I'm going to paste these guys okay the good health prosperity you can add more it's just the same process that we did this guy but you can see um, this one if you click on this you see no fill but if you click on this rectangle right here you can see a fill this color okay um, you can just go ahead and add that color and then set the fill to um, 30 okay good now let's go in and bring this guy I don't even know why I put this guy here but it's okay it's all adds up click here let's bring this guy again okay so let's go to filter and then blur Gaussian blur let's 13.5 pixels okay that's cool all right so if you check over here you can see um the good health prosperity prosperity okay it's if i have to mean they are not showing quite well okay so we can do one or two changes to the rectangles but for me i'm keeping this okay you can say leadership by example but hey follow your instincts sometimes Just, but for me i'm keeping this but for you with the sake of um uh what <laughs> design principles please change it to black if you're not going to do that too then you go okay let's follow let's go let's continue okay so we are going to add some shadows behind here so don't just go and grab the brush to like create a new layer grab the brush and then choose black then start adding shadows like this you have to stop this okay so what we need to do is here the layer below it okay just go ahead and add exposure okay and then you can clip it so you just create a clipping mask and then you just lower the opacity uh, sorry the exposure then some gamma corrections okay and then you just press ctrl i on the keyboard to invert and then you grab your brush with foreground white you just check your flow and then you just start adding some shadows okay always add shadows like this in this way you can tweak your shadows anyhow you want okay you can add shadows anywhere that you want okay so that's just something that i wanted to show you guys okay so i hope good so with this uh what we are left is some cool stuff before the glow light comes in so let's come to the top select the topmost layer and then take the pen tool okay i have the pen tool right here compress p on the keyboard now follow what i'm doing right here so with the pen tool all you need to do is just click here okay let me zoom in so you see clearly click here 
make sure there's space over here so you click here and then you come over here and then you click then you drag okay something like this you have this cap when you release this will come don't worry come to the top you see the fill let's take the fill out all we need is stroke okay and then not big like this just decrease the size from here this is okay the size is 7.41 all right now let's grab the text to then click on this path okay when you hover on the path you see the icon changes right now it is in a square the eye is in a square the eye. okay so when i hover on the line you can see it changes just click on it now you see this okay but i don't like where i clicked so let's undo that when you undo now let's click it here okay let's start from here very good now let's type happy birthday okay so with this um let's go and change the fonts okay let's increase the size a little like this we're good so with after this let's uh delete the shape that we created with the pen tool then you can just bring it down a little okay so that's that's now uh let's grab the ellipse tool okay and then let's make an ellipse right here all right so it's white we don't want white for this one let's change the color to this orange okay and then let's control and j on the keyboard to duplicate and then control t to resize it okay like this and then let's come to the properties let's take out a fill and then add white stroke okay let's decrease the size okay let me zoom in all right so let's grab the text tool and then let's click on the path okay all right so you can decrease the size over here change it to black very good and then we we'll go ahead and delete the uh, path that we created over there okay and you can go ahead and add a type on it okay so over here you just need to change it to the month okay so you can go ahead and type month over there all right and then the size to in this one you can just change you just have to change the font to the one you use for these guys okay so that's very simple and then these guys i'm just going to make them a little uh more visible okay should i say a little more visible i didn't invent english back right? <laughs> that's so i'm going to paste i'm going to paste another one so you can see this after before after okay all right let's keep that okay so let's click this ellipse when you click on it it will select the text okay there on the layers it will select the text so you just come down and select this ellipse double click for the blending options let's check in a glue okay then click okay so it comes so this before after i don't know if you can see it all right so i'm going to paste this 16 in there so you can see this is actually looking nice but it's not juicy when i say juicy i mean let's bring this glow light but before that let's come to the top and select the topmost layer before we bring the glow light let's drag that in okay let's zoom out and then increase it let's bring it here okay let's change the blend mode to linear dodge okay then you can tweak the size that we got right here All right so with this it's looking luscious and um i don't know what way should i use power crit signals or something like that yeah uh let's in decrease the size okay then hold shift plus alt on the keyboard and squeeze it down like this okay this is just on um if you want to add it you can add it but it's not that necessary okay 
all right if you think it's necessary you can do that so thanks for watching and we are done right here make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh like this video leave a comment in the comment section but until this video has 1k views please don't go into the comment section and ask me about psd files please 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 thank you i love you all and i'm out peace